European Union condemns Trump's tariffs plans. Canadian marijuana company becomes the first to be quoted on Nasdaq. Housing insurance in Mexico registers a mere 6% of households despite earthquakes. And Lego admits it made too many bricks with soft sales announcement. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business. I'm Elliot Bullman. Let's go straight to the information. The European Union has condemned US plans for tough tariffs on steel and aluminium imports, saying they jeopardize European jobs. And the EU's Trade Commissioner, Cecilia Malmström, has set out plans to retaliate against the proposed US tariffs. These include higher import duties on bourbon, peanut butter, cranberries, orange juice, steel and industrial products, she said. On Tuesday, Donald Trump's top economic adviser Gary Cohn, who opposes tariffs, resigned. That was after Mr. Trump said EU trade rules make it impossible for US firms to do business with the bloc. Ms. Malmstrom said the US justification for the proposed 25% tariff on steel imports and 10% tariff on aluminium was that US national security is threatened. But she said that the EU Commission has serious doubts about that justification and can't see how the European Union, friends and allies in NATO could be a threat to national security in the US. She added that the EU has made it clear that if a move like this is taken, it will hurt the European Union. It'll put thousands of European jobs in jeopardy, and it has to be met by a firm and proportionate response. She also said the EU was intensively talking to US counterparts to try to persuade Washington to have a rethink. In another of today's top stories, everyone knew that it was a profitable business. The question was whether it was safe to invest. The Canadian company Kronos Group has become the first pure marijuana producer listed on the Nasdaq stock exchange. Other companies that work with the substance, such as GW Pharmaceutical, were already in the market, but were not uniquely dedicated to this industry. While Kronos Group already had at least three years on the Toronto Stock Exchange, the jump to the Nasdaq, where Apple, Microsoft or Starbucks are existing, gives them an opportunity to enter a market with greater liquidity, grow more and be recognizable to new investors. The stock market valuation of the company dedicated to marijuana is estimated at $1.53 billion. Its debut during the stock market's volatility marked the course with a fall of 2% and a close of 20% growth. Kronos Group CEO Mike Gorstein mentioned that the acceptance in Nasdaq demonstrates that the prejudices about marijuana are disappearing. Also, analysts at investment bank Cowan & Co. estimate that the cannabis market will move up to $50 billion by 2026. In other news, housing insurance in Mexico has a minuscule 6% penetration in Mexican households, even despite the three earthquakes that rocked the country in September of last year, according to data from the Mexican Association of Insurance Institutions. Housing insurance is a hedging instrument that decreases the risk of possible patrimonial losses, but before buying insurance, it's necessary to evaluate the value of the property, which appears on the property deed, in order to contract the best coverage. According to the agency, the owner must make an estimate of their belongings before contracting an insurer, and then the insurer will also be at liberty to ask for the corresponding invoices or not. The National Commission for the Protection and Defense of Users of Financial Services recommends consulting an insurance advisor before hiring the service and carefully declaring the value of the home. The client must know if there are risks in their location, risk factors such as if the area is prone to flooding or is situated in a seismic zone. It's necessary to know if damage to third parties is covered. For example, if the adjacent dwelling could be flooded or if a fire would damage another house. And for today's other top story, 
Too many Lego bricks is a problem many parents will sympathize with. But now the toy firm itself has admitted it has made too many. The company attributes the deterioration of its sales to the fact that the toy sector is fighting off increasing competition from video games and digital platforms. Danish toy maker Lego has announced that sales and profits have fallen for the first time in 13 years, blaming the weak performance on having to sell off excess stock cheaply last year. Revenue for 2017 dropped by 8% or $5.8 billion. The company attributes the deterioration of its sales to the fact that the toy sector has more and more competition between the video game industry and digital platforms for entertainment. A LEGO spokesman blames weaker sales on surplus inventory in warehouses and shops. She said there wasn't enough warehousing space to get 2017 toys into stores and the toy trade is driven by newness. LEGO said dealing with the stock issue, as well as a drop in sales in Europe and North America, dragged down its performance last year. LEGO Group Chief Executive Niels Christensen said there was no quick fix and it would take the firm some time to grow in the long term. Last September, LEGO said its half-year results had suffered because it had stretched itself too thinly by diversifying into products that were not toys, such as the LEGO movies. LEGO chairman Jorge Nutzdorp said at the time that adding complexity to the company had made it harder for the toy maker to grow further. He also said that the firm had pressed the reset button for the group with the aim of building a smaller and less complex organization. And finally, let's take a brief look at the markets. The Mexican peso increased 0.07% to 18,723 from 18.7120 in the previous trading session. On the other hand, the IPC Mexico decreased 0.46% to 47,662 from 47,885 in the previous trading session. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Elliot Bullman. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. And log on to MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.